Hi, Mr. X with glossary term SAA congruence. That's side angle angle. If we have two triangles and one side matches up and an angle matches up and another angle matches up as we're going around the triangle, we have congruent triangles. Let's say this purple side is fixed. From this point to this point is fixed. That's length S. That's all there is to it. We have a length S. It's like an iron bar. Let's call that alpha. Anywhere along here is that same angle, right? Sure, that's our angle. The angle stays the same no matter how long the rays are. We're going to make this the same alpha. Here's another angle, beta. It's the angle in here. We'll make this beta as well. Those angles are going to be the same. Again, this ray goes on forever this way. And now, from this point, we're looking at the ray that goes out that way forever. Let's keep alpha the same, and let's just move this guy along this way. So that's going to keep beta. Understand we kept the same angle there? But there's no way we can keep this angle and this angle and maintain length s. This length here is going to be shorter than s. That's not s. This is shorter. Likewise, if we move this guy out this way, we we'll move it way out there. We can still keep the same angle, beta. But this still isn't S. There's only one way we can build this triangle with this side, this angle, and this angle. There's only one shape of triangle that will permit that. And that's why we have SAA congruence. At MrXMath.com, Mr. X takes the mystery out of math.